I'm Neil O'Grady, osteopath, and today I'd like to explain to you a muscle energy technique for a type 2, according to Freud's laws, spinal dysfunction in the lumbar spine. In this case, it'll be L2, L3, and it will be an extension lesion, meaning that extension is the ease of motion. So it'll be L2 on L3, so L2 extended, rotated, and side bend left. So this is a kind of a modified Sims position. There's a few working parts to it, so I'm going to go through it and explain it to you now. Okay, so Nicola, if you turn and face me, please. So we start with the patient facing me. So the facets, it's rotated and side bent to the left. So the, the rotated facets are facing upwards. Okay, so it's rotated and side bent left. So the rotated facets on this and the left will be facing upwards. So the first thing I'll do, it's an extension dysfunction, as I said, meaning extension is the ease of motion. So the first thing I want to do is bring it a little bit closer to the edge. I want to flex the hips and knees. So I'm flexing to the barrier. It's an extension dysfunction. So I'm flexing up to the barrier here like that. I'll monitor the involved segment with my calf led hand. So L2, L3. Very good. Okay. Now what I want to do is I'm going to change hands. So I'm going to put my cord at hand on the monitoring segment. And what I'd like you to do, Nicola, this is going to be confusing, but the arm that's on the couch, I'm going to get you to rotate the face downwards to the couch. So the arm that's under you is going to rotate under you. So you're going to rotate face down, okay? You can put your face in the cradle. And now you're in a modified Sims position. So we've introduced rotation to the right. And the ease of motion, as we know, is rotation left. So that's accumulating another barrier. So if I want to further that and introduce it, just are you comfortable there? Is that okay? Yeah. If the patient's comfortable and you want to increase that barrier a little bit more, I'm going to ask you in a second to reach toward the floor with this hand. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. And as she's breathing out, I'm following the shoulder down, so I'm introducing more rotation. So I'm accumulating all the barriers here. Okay, now stay in that position. I'm going to change hands again. So I'm going to, my Keflat hand is going to now be the monitoring hand at the involved segment. Okay, so now I'm going to take, grasp the feet here like that. I'm going to lower the legs off the table. So we know that it's an L2, L3 extended and uh, rotated and side bent to the left. So the barrier would be, wrote, would be side bent right. So in this case, I'm going to change here. So her knees are on my thigh here, so I'm in a more comfortable position and a safer position for me. Continuing to monitor with the careful at hand and I'm going to get a grasp of her feet like that. I've got my arm here like that so I can control the feet and I'm going to lower her into a side bend to the right position. Down, down, down. There's the barrier. Okay, now Nicola, I want you to push the feet up towards the ceiling like that with about 30% of your strength for five seconds. Two, three, four, five and relax. Breathe in and breathe out. And practitioner position is important with this. The couch needs to be high enough. And if it's not high enough, you need to go into a squat and push up again. One, two, four, five, relax, breathe in and breathe out. Make sure you communicate with your patient to see that they're, they're still comfortable. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, push up once last time. One, two, three, four, five, relax, breathe in and breathe out. Okay, that's about as far as we're gonna go. Now, again, lastly, I'll introduce one passive stretch. So breathe in. That's the freedom of motion, and this is the barrier. And breathe out. Okay. And that's it. And now what I want to do is try and return her to the couch in a safe and comfortable manner. Okay. So that, everybody, is a muscle energy technique for a type 2 lesion. In this case, it's an extension lesion rotated and side bent left. Um, if you like the content or you want any more videos on spinal mechanics or anything else, let me know in the comment section. Please hit subscribe. I'll talk to you next time. Thank you.